What is urban sketching? I think most of you watching this already probably know, but let's just briefly discuss it so we're all starting on the same page. The act of urban sketching has certainly existed long before the actual term or label of urban sketching came about. And urban sketching essentially means sketching on location. So rather than drawing from reference materials such as photos inside a studio, urban sketching is the activity of sketching from life and out on location. But perhaps just the subtle element that differentiates urban sketching from simply the act of sketching on location is that the sketch should really tell some kind of story. Story captured from real life is an important essence of urban sketching. So I just want to give you a very quick example from something I did the other day. So take this sketch I did at the V&A Museum in London as a quick example. Do you see how I sketched the entire scene with the people sitting in the chairs and the background, that kind of thing, versus what I could have done, which is just sketching like one of the people sitting in the chairs in complete isolation from the rest of what's going on. So that wouldn't technically be considered urban sketching. But I really don't like to go down a road where people get pedantic about labels and what is and what is not urban sketching. To be honest, I just don't find that relevant. The most important thing is to have fun sketching, however and whichever way you want. And just let's not get caught up in the semantics. That being said, let's get on to my practical steps to get you out there urban sketching. Number one, obviously you need to get comfortable with drawing. So I do recommend rather than sketching a whole scene like we just saw, just actually take, just focusing on single elements, almost more like a still life kind of vibe. Focus on things that don't move for now. You need to be able to walk before you run. So just don't overwhelm yourself. And I think this is the easiest way to just get used to the habit of sketching and improving your sketching skills. Your sketches will be quicker and simpler and so you'll get a quicker satisfaction as well. And then you can just build from there. Number two, practice at home before you go out on location. This will build your confidence. You can write down ideas of what you want to draw so that you don't waste time when you get your sketchbook out. I'm quite a big fan of that because my mind tends to go blank when I'm sitting in front of my sketchbook. The most important thing is to get used to sketching from life rather than photos. Photos are great for practicing drawing skills too, but drawing from life is a whole other experience and obviously it's an essential skill for urban sketching. If you want some inspiration and an actual schedule to follow, check out my seven day urban sketching at home challenge. We start with sort of sketching your art supplies and moving on to things like house plants and so on and so forth. So it's a really good way to ease yourself into urban sketching. Um, so if you're keen, you can go and join over at urbansketchingworld.com. Number three is know your materials. So swatch out those watercolors, write the names down, make a watercolor mixing chart. Now this thing, this exercise alone took my watercolor ability to the next level. So I highly recommend making a watercolor mixing chart. I do have a video on that. It's old and it's a bit rubbish to be honest, but you'll get the gist of it. Practice wet on wet techniques, understand how your paper works with your watercolor. All of these things and these little exercises that you can do at home will help you immensely when you get out and sketch in public and you need to make those quick decisions. The better you know your materials and what you can do with them, the quicker you'll reach for the right tool and the better you will get. Also, stuff moves out there in the world, so sometimes you need to be quick, quick. Number four, get outside and sketch. So yeah, I know, okay, I know that's quite an obvious step, but there is only so much that you can do at home. There's only so much practice and prep that you can do before you just need to push yourself outside of your comfort zone and get yourself out in the world. I've found in the, in the past, um, when you have a bit of a plan of where you want to go and what you want to sketch, this really does help to reduce any kind of overwhelm you might feel or just time wasted by aimlessly wandering around looking for something to sketch. So just pick one place 
and just say, I am going to sit down and sketch that. So just sit down and do it. I know it can be scary, um, the thought of going out there for the first time and getting your sketchbook out, but there are strategies to make it less scary. So you can pick somewhere pretty quiet. You can have your back against a wall or a tree or something else so that people can't walk behind you and see what you're up to. You can put your headphones in and you can only have your pen out when you're sketching and then only get your paints out when you're ready to paint. So there's just so many strategies and I actually have an entire blog post about this uh, over on urbansketchingworld.com so I'll link to that in the description below. But do go and check it out. There's lots of ways to um, make yourself feel more confident. And I can be really shy and self-conscious so I promise you I've come up with all of the tricks in the book to hide my sketching and put people off from talking to me. But when you start to get used to it and increase your confidence and if people do come to chat, which I found actually not really that that often, but sometimes a lot of people are just wrapped up in their own little worlds, then when do people do come over? They're usually pretty friendly and pretty complimentary, even if you think your drawing's rubbish. So if you feel nervous about your ability, you can just tell people that maybe you're studying art or illustration, whatever, and you're just out practicing. And this is a relevant explanation for people of all ages. There are lots of adult art classes and online courses and stuff like that. So don't go thinking that that only works for people who are 20 years old or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice way to kind of make yourself feel more comfortable if people do approach you. And number five get social so again being a bit of an introvert this one makes me has made me a little nervous in the past but luckily there are urban sketches group groups all over the world so hopefully you can find one near you to join and you can join a bunch of other people who have the exact same interest as you um, or you can just find some other people to sketch with like local art groups that kind of thing or the people you go out with don't even need to be sketches. And actually, this is the most common experience for me, to be honest. So if I go out with my fiance for a coffee or, or whatever, I just say to him, do you mind if we sketch while I chat? And the sketching may not be the best, but it's just getting used to getting your sketchbook out and sketching in public. I know this can really big, be a big and a huge hurdle for some people especially when you're just starting out and it, and it really was for me but I find friends generally don't mind joining me to sit in front of something interesting or beautiful and um, they don't mind that I, I sketch the place while we're sort of sipping on some beer or chatting that kind of thing so it's actually a really nice way to spend an afternoon and if you're just going to hang out and whatever, then it doesn't matter if you're just sketching the background too. My final point, guys, is just to get better at any skill. You have to work at it. Practice consistently. And if you can't do it for a few weeks or even months, it doesn't matter. Just get started again when you can. But just keep going because if you love it and you keep doing it, you literally can't help but get, get better and better. So I just want to quickly mention that I am releasing a six part mini series about my sketching philosophy, as well as some further strategies on how to get started with ink and watercolor sketching. And also strategies for capturing more complicated scenes or entire locations. So if you wanna receive these videos straight to your inbox, as well as get a notification on when my new course, Sketch Your Adventures, is going to open for enrollment, then please do visit sketchyouradventures.com. The link will be in the description below. So make sure to look out for my future video. I'm not gonna say my next video because I'm not sure what my next video is yet, but future video where I'll share some more advanced steps on how to take your urban sketching to the next level. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope this has been useful for you and I will see you in the next one.